All right, busting. Uh, what's that? Six boxes of madness. Gold yeah, we, standard. We got football. gold standard panini. We got another two national treasures. And we got two something playbooks. here I was talked into called the uh, playbooks. Playbooks. You so it this way. We're gonna just uh, hammer these out two at a time, and we'll. Uh, or do one one one. We could. We could. Yeah, do one one one. All right. Let's see. Start off with the gold because. Even as a kid, we love to eat our dessert first. All right, nothing wrong with that. Slide However, I oh, push it up. Slide, yeah. Okay. Thank you. See, without Irving here, I'd have been inspecting this thing for at least five minutes. Okay, it comes in, for those of you who haven't seen. Uh, it comes in a clear plastic, uh, not as thick as National Treasures, but. Uh, Seems as if there's a couple of cards in here just from plain sight that are as thick. But we'll see exactly what uh, kind of product we can expect to get out of uh, the gold standard Panini NFL trading cards group. Alright, we'll start it off here with the Malcolm Floyd Chargers, Muhammad Wilkerson. Are any of these numbered here? Yes. They are. Where are they numbered here? Yes, they are. This is at a two ninety nine. Base cards are out of two ninety nine. We're getting to the legend Tommy McDonald, right there. Next is Felix Jones. El gato. Yeah, right. Let's see if he's there much longer. Ryan Matthews, golden anniversary, which is out of two ninety nine as well. Titus Young, gold leaf rookies, two ninety nine. Now we're getting into the good stuff here. Michael Irvin. Patch card numbered to 220. He was on the fights at Saturday. Uh, Clyde Gates patch. I haven't seen a lot of his product this year. I'm not too familiar on this kid either. <clears throat> yeah, I got the one with the dolphin head on it. Yeah, it was a pretty nice one. He's got some great stuff out there for him, especially. Delone Carter running back patch autograph. Pretty nice card. Followed by Prince of Mukamara, cornerback for the Super Bowl champion uh, Giants. Followed by Dion Lewis, rookie, Philadelphia Eagles. None of these have been numbered uh, anything crazy. Mostly you're out at the 299, so maybe 220 was the lowest one. And finalize uh, the Chuck Bednarek. And the final one right there. So that was the first one. Not a bad Delone Carter. Hopefully, you know, at least at this standpoint, I watch, uh, wish him a, a good year with the Colts and Andrew Luck as they seem to have already announced that they're going to draft him. Um, <clears throat> next, I'm going to try this bad boy here because, uh, well, I don't know much about this one either. I'm have some fun. Scott, we're doing stuff Go get him, you. Tiger! As Scott thoroughly inspects the newly acquired cards. For those of you who are unfamiliar, Scott takes pride in looking at all the cards and making sure that you get the best quality out of edges, autographs, numbers, anything he can find to help make your experience with this much more pleasurable than you would already assume it would be. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, both ways, my friend. All right, so we're opening uh, this four cards per box. Uh, Panini Playbook, which is quite awesome how they did this. Playbook portfolio. And here comes my nemesis. Oh, no, I thought that was Brian sneaking <laughs> up on me with all these Broncos here. One pack slipped out already. Or you use scissors on these, it'll be easier. Yes, I totally wholeheartedly agree. Oh, there he is. See, I told you he was nearby. Yeah, he's touching packs again. See, I got to send him away now. Okay, I don't know what pack you touched. I saw that. Start with yours. Which, uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm feeling this one pretty much too. How bad would that be if I just cut the corner of the card off? Oops. <laughs> it's a booklet! A rookie booklet. Nice, come on, go big. Oh, nice. Daniel Thomas. Nice. Look at that sucker. Boy, patch. Wow. 
Reggie Bush, That's move cool. over, please. For more than one reason. Poor Reggie Bush. <laughs> no, poor Reggie Bush. Uh, that was uh, number 82 out of 399. Not a bad one. You want to rub another one? <laughs> it's hit or miss with you, bro. That was a good one. Oh, of course. It's great. <clears throat> Just like the Von Miller a moment ago. Whatever case you want. I'm only going to take two out of there. It's fine. All right. You have to open what you want to open. Yeah. I was looking at the Paul Hornung. Yeah. Autograph. Not the, not the lineup. Number 249. Nice. That's nice. That is great. That is a very nice card. So far, I can honestly say without any doubt, I am quite liking this product. Normally, I'm uh, particular to uh, national treasures or that sort of thing, and whatever these gentlemen tell me is the newer product. So when they point these ones out to me, I kind of have to take them at their word. They have yet to fail me. All right, number three. If there's an autographed baseball and a felt bag, Very nice mammoth, quote-unquote, sized patch of Frank Gore. Retired and hauled Number 34 of 99. Quite a nice little piece. Now, I can't complain with Frank Gore. That man is a, a beast at running back. Thank you, Brian, for helping me out with that one. And the last pack of this playbook... Offers a Mark Herslick autograph. Now, am I am not mistaken? Is that the kid that came out of uh, Boston College who overcame cancer? Yep. Yeah. If uh, you don't know this kid's story, he's a great story. He uh, was diagnosed with, ca with cancer in the middle of his college career. Fought it, beat it, got drafted in the NFL. Uh, yeah, no, the there is probably one another, touch, another yeah, great story like this young man's uh, to date. Numbered. Oh, and numbered. Yes. Ooh, beautifully numbered. Five of 25 as well. Nice. Nice. That was a pretty good card right there. And I'll tell you right now, if you're a Giants fan, I'd be uh, very stoked and very happy to have that guy on your team. All right. <clears throat> now, do we continue as we were doing one of one and do the treasures next, or do we do these ones and leave the two treasures for last? Like, I didn't expect yeah, look at that. He doesn't know. You know, you love that treasures. Um, do it. You one, one, one. Yeah, hasn't failed right. Hasn't, hasn't failed, failed yet. yet. Okay. So, Brian makes a good point. Hasn't failed yet. Going with your numbers. What you got? 50 and 38. Or 7. I, I got to go with 750. I'll save that one for last, though. So, yeah. For those of you still sticking with us, awesome. Obviously, you can fast forward at any time to skip ahead to the meat and gravy and skip the potatoes, which are only steamed. Right. That was a pretty nice piece you got there, Ryan. Which one is that? While we're in the middle of opening this, he can show you a pretty cool piece of Kevin Durant. And uh, who's that young man? I can't see. Oh, and Westbrook in their uh, USA... Olympic jerseys. It's quite nice stuff you got there. Framing these up. Framing them up. And I'm not sure if they're quite spoken for, but obviously if you think those are interesting, give these guys a call. Not yet, not yet. Oh, they're not spoken for. Phones are available now. Start calling. Oh, wait. we got to wait. <laughs> you know what? This is stuff that you might play right. because you may take a... Skipping ahead, skipping ahead, skipping ahead. And for those of you guys that do National Treasure Breaks as well, please, by all means, you know, show us uh, what you guys have uh, gotten out of your boxes. Uh, it'd be kind of awesome to see what else is out there that has already been broken into. This is hiding over my shoulder over here. What I got in my boxes. So, Jimmy's going to pull an autograph one of one. Um, Cam Newton right now. So. Wow. Wow, well, yeah. So that's why I came over here. Right. <laughs> Don't do that to me. <laughs> Where's the song? All right. Start off with Brandon Marshall, base card, 63 of 99. We go on to Mario Manningham, base card, 99. We got a quite nice one here for a third card. Uh, NFL greatest, Troy Aikman, patch card, 48 of 49. 
And then you have a beautiful Aaron Rodgers. Patrick, I can't not do this next to you guys. Uh, two of two. Yeah. <laughs> two of two. Oh, that is gorgeous. That's a great card. So if anybody out there gets the one of one. One of two. Or excuse me, one of two, pardon me. Thank you. Then uh, by all means, at least we know who that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't let that touch anything. Brian, if you hold that thing any longer, he's going to get traded to the Broncos. Yeah. <laughs> and we still have uh, eight more to go here. All right. Coming up with a Tony Gonzalez Pro Bowl materials, 63 of 99. And we have a Charles Clay Dolphins signature, 28 of 49. Something tells me he's never getting traded. <laughs> yeah. And we have an Alan Bradford who is now a Seahawk, formerly of the Buccaneers. Uh, former USC Trojan as well, out of 99. Why do you think he's a Seahawk now? Don't there you, you get, go. If, if you're a Bucks, don't you get the Seahawks with them? Oh, God. And this is this is definitely the uh, Packers pack, because that is a Bart Starr leathered signature, 47 out of 50. Wow. That is pretty priceless right there, yeah. yeah going over to you. Talk about a hot box. Followed by a Felix Jones autograph patch. Holy crap, this, this box is rocking right now. You have no idea. <laughs> Followed by a Ryan Williams rookie patch autograph, number to 49. Wow. Jesus. And then uh, we've got Ron Mix to final it out out of 99. And then a Brandon Lloyd, 19 of 25. That, was a, that was a pretty sick box. That was probably one of the best boxes I have opened. That's one of the better ones I've seen. Two of two Rogers, Star Auto, Williams Auto, Jones Auto. And don't forget, yes. Aikman Patch. Yeah. Place. And don't forget, if you guys are doing those drafts where you uh, sign up for uh, getting a draft case spot breaks. for case breaks, thank you very much. And, and uh, this store or any other store, please keep in mind the teams that you want to pick may be your favorites. But also stick to the ones that have all the Hall of Famers, all the old school guys, the ones that have uh, players that mean something. I'm, you know, I'm uh, particular to my Oakland Raiders, and even though they have a history of their own, I know that a lot of teams out there that I don't like have a lot of great players. Cowboys and Giants and anybody. So, when you can get cards like these and you know they're players that you obviously respect, then uh, you cannot go wrong whatsoever if you were into trading cards. All right. Cool. Coming back with the other three Flipping boxes. Flipping back around one more time. Let's continue this rolling. We'll get to this gold box right here. 